Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be doing a review slash tutorial on the eye look that I have today. As you can see, it is a pretty cool tone look, which is um, quite different from the looks that I have done previously. And today's palette of choice is going to be the Juvia's Place The Topes palette. So it's one of their mini six pan palettes that come with three mattes and three metallics or shimmers. I got this palette in the Juvia's Place mystery bag or box that they did for Black Friday and was really interested in trying it out. I've heard somewhat mixed reviews on this palette. Some people seem to find that the pigmentation isn't there and it's hard to work with and hard to blend while others seem to really enjoy it so I wanted to try it out for myself uh, on camera and show you guys how it worked out for me I actually used this palette for the first time yesterday and created a look quite similar to the one that I'm wearing today and really loved it so I wanted to get on camera and film a review slash tutorial for you guys as well in the event that you were thinking of picking up this palette for yourself this place has several of these mini monochromatic palettes on their website off the top of my head I think they have like six or seven of them I own three I have the chocolates the violets and now the Tobes and I did do a review on the chocolates palette as well so I'll link that either here in the cards or in the description box if you're interested in checking that out and they retail for I believe $14 or so as I mentioned in some of my previous videos about Juvia's Place they almost always from what I've seen at least the past several months have some sort of sale going on so you can get it at a discount and you can also purchase it at Ulta they have them available last I checked the Topes palette is currently in stock so if you are interested in purchasing it and don't find it on the Juvia's Place website I would definitely check Ulta as well so without much more rambling let's go ahead and get into the tutorial and the review so here we go I just primed my eyes I used my Smashbox photo finish lid primer in the shade light um, I figured since we're gonna be using some of these lighter taupe shades in the Juvia's palette I may need a primer or a more even toned base on my eyes considering my eyelids are pretty pigmented um, in my opinion and I feel like with these tones it would just blend into the shade of my eyelid so we went ahead and primed um, and I'm gonna do a look that I actually wore yesterday so I have used this already and spoiler alert I really enjoyed it it's not shades that I would typically use um, I don't remember the last time I used such cool tone shades this is actually I'm wondering how close of a dupe this would actually be to the ColourPop taupe that's so taupe palette which I had also been wanting and almost ordered it was recently restocked I think a couple of days ago from the day I'm filming this video and it was 25% off I almost bought it but then I said you know what no chill out a little bit on the eyeshadow palette um, and let's test out the Juvia's Totes palette and see how I like that so this palette again it's got three mattes and three metallic shimmers um the mattes kind of go from light to dark the darkest being this shade in the middle right here again the shades don't really have names i have tried other juvia's place um mini palettes like these i'll link the other video either in the description box or in the card somewhere above if you guys are also interested on watching that video the first shade i'm gonna go in with is gonna be the lightest shade right here um, um, I'm holding it upside down so this would be the top row um, the third or either the first and I'm gonna take just a fluffy brush and dip in there and put that in my crease and I'm gonna take my time building this up um, so I'll probably edit a lot of that out just so this video isn't super long and then I'll show you what other colors I'm gonna use There's not much kick up in the pan with these shades, so I'll show you guys. Um, I went ahead and just swiveled my brush in. You can see there is some kick up, but not much um, at all really, so that's good. It means there's not, hopefully there's not gonna be a lot of fallout because as I already did my base and I would hate for it to get everywhere and then have to do my base all over again. This palette does not come with a mirror, so I am using uh, my mirror that is here to the side, which is why I am looking this way. Um, it's gonna be a pretty simple look. I mean, there's not many looks that I feel like you could do using a palette like this that's a monochrome, um, but the look that I came up with yesterday, I really did like, and I was able to use a good amount of shades from this palette. I believe out of the six, I used four of them, so not bad. 
blending beautifully, no complaints, no skipping, no patchiness that I could see so far. Um, and again, I did use a primer, so it seems like it's working well with the primer. And for this being my second or third time using Juvia's Place, so, so far I have no complaints. So I'm just putting that color in my crease, in my crease and below the brow bone, and then again, taking it up in that kind of V shape that I prefer for my eye shape taking my time building up that color. It's not super pigmented, um, so I'm sure we could be here for a while trying to build and build and build, but I'm not looking for a really dark uh, grayish tone color um, in the crease, so this is working just fine for me. Next shade I'm gonna go in with is uh, this matte shade right here. This is the second row, the first or the third, however uh, you're looking at it, and I'm gonna take that with another blending brush, a clean one, and just dip into it. And this is gonna go right into the fold of my crease, so right here, and I'm kinda gonna just concentrate it right in there to give it a little bit of depth. And if anything, I'm moving it down on my lid just a little bit versus going up. And this is, again, just to give me a little bit of depth. I'm putting light pressure on the way I'm holding my brush. I'm not like really gripping it. I'm just light pressure, dusting it just in that area. Like I said, these shades don't seem super pigmented, so I am, am needing to dip back into that pan. I wonder if that will just make you go through it faster or if it's just pressed that hard that um, that's why you need to dip into it so often. So you can see there's not much difference in the shades, um, even though the shade that we went in right now, in my opinion, is more cooler toned versus this shade down here. Um, not much difference. You can't really tell it apart, but it is giving me a bit more depth just in that outer uh, crease. That's what I was looking for. Okay, so there we go. We've got both eyes done. Like I said, I just added a little bit of that in this outer crease to give me some definition. The next thing I'm gonna do is go in with a more of a flat shader brush type, um, not too fluffy, and I'm gonna take the darkest matte shade on the outer corner. I'm gonna use something like this. This is a Morphe brush. It's the M167, and I'm dipping into this middle shade right here, which is a matte but does seem to have um, a little bit of shimmer in it, but I don't necessarily, I didn't remember noticing that when I used it yesterday and you can't really see much of it on the brush. So I think that just might be added in for blendability versus getting the actual shimmer. So I'm gonna tap off my brush and I'm just gonna tap it on the outer corner of my eye. And you can see that one is pretty pigmented. I hope it's coming off on camera, but not like bam in your face either. I'm keeping that on my outer corner. Okay, so we've got that there, and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with a clean blending brush. Um, this one is stained, but it is clean. I'm gonna go back into um, the first shade that we use, this matte shade, to go into the crease, and just kind of um, clean up this outer area. I just dipped a little bit into the pan. I didn't pick up too much product, just, and then I did tap it off, same on this side. Now we're gonna dive into the metallics or the shimmers, whatever you wanna call them. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them just so we can get an idea. These seem kind of a bit on the dry side. They don't seem as creamy as um, other ones of Juvia's Place that I've tried, so. There you can see a swatch on my hand going from the lightest to the quote unquote darkest. I feel like this third one here has a bit of like a pink, um, more of a warmer tone. Is that just me or are you guys seeing that too? And the one in the middle seems to have like purple reflex. Tell me if you guys see that as well or, or if that's just me imagining things. The shade I'm gonna go in with, I think I am gonna go in with this shade right here, which is the one that I said it looks like has some purple reflex. Purple is one of my favorite colors. So um, we're gonna go in with our finger. So I'm gonna take that on my middle finger and kind of just really swirl in there. That's how much pigment I've picked up. And I'm gonna go ahead on my eyelid. Ooh, wow. 
I'm keeping it on the middle of my eyelid and you can see on my finger there's still quite a bit there so I'm gonna go with whatever's on there and go also on to the other eyelid Wow well I didn't need to dip back in but then again I did do a pretty good swirl in that pan to pick up the pigment I'm keeping that mainly on the middle of my eyelid going in towards the inner corner and a bit outwards not all the way out I want to keep that matte gray color on the outer corner. I actually really like that. And then I'm gonna go back into the flat shader brush and just add a bit more of that darker matte color on the outer corner just to deepen it up. Now I'm gonna take the lightest uh, metallic shimmer color, this one right here, and I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. I am gonna use a flat shader brush and I'm gonna pick it up with the brush first. Put it on that inner corner and I'm uh, kind of dragging it up just into the crease so not any higher I'm actually gonna try that with some setting spray and see if we can get more of a brighter inner corner with that I'm just gonna use my morphe setting spray and I'm gonna take the same brush gonna dip back in really swipe in there I picked up huh, I picked up a lot um, and take my setting sp spray and just do it just a light spritz and we're gonna go back in the inner corner yep that did it and just looking here in the mirror i am getting a little bit of fallout from that um, metallic shade that we put on the inner corner so let's take a fluffy brush and just try and dust some of that off did a pretty decent job so that's about as far as we're gonna go on the lid it's very similar if not the same look that i did yesterday and we used um all of the colors but one just this one right here was the only one that we didn't use i'm gonna get an eyeliner and just kind of tight line my upper lash line and mascara and i'll be right back I went ahead and just finished off the rest of my makeup. Like I said, I tight lined my upper lash line. I did a really faint, faint eyeliner line with a pencil liner. I used the Huda Beauty dual ended, um, what's this called? The Life Liner, very Vanta, um, the pencil liner, just to tight line and also on my upper lash line, just a bit. Um, highlighter, blush, obviously um, I did a lip and this is a cool toned look if I've ever seen one <laughs> for myself. I don't think I have ever done a cool tone look or this cool of a tone look in a long time. Um, I'm trying to think back, probably when I had the Naked, the Urban Decay Naked palette. I wanna say that's probably the coolest I've gone and that was years ago. Um, I did have the Urban Decay Smoky Naked palette, but I don't think I ever used it. Um, I just generally don't use this cool of tones, but to be honest, I really like it. Like I said, I did a look pretty similar to this yesterday um, and really enjoyed it, which is why I wanted to come on and film it for you guys. In terms of my thoughts on the Juvia's Place palette, I like it. Um, I do get that this is probably not everybody's go-to everyday palette. Most of us these days are into warm tones or in general, trust me, I love my warm tones as well. It's nice every once in a while to step out of your comfort zone and try something new and you never know, you might be surprised. I was definitely surprised with this. Um, also with the lip, I did more of a cool tone lip. I used a ColourPop lip liner in the shade BFF3 and then I also used the Hank and Henry um, lipstick that I got in a BoxyCharm a couple months ago. This was also cool tone. So uh, for the price on the Juvia's Place palette, if you're interested in these types of tones, I think it's a good price point. Like I said in my previous videos regarding Juvia's, they usually have some sort of sale going on. So I believe these retail for $14 and you can get them anywhere between 30% up to 50% off. So uh, for seven bucks when it's 50% off, if you're gonna use it, I think it's a good deal metallics are a bit dry in my opinion compared to other Juvia's Place metallics that I've used they still performed beautifully I did use the setting spray with that lightest 
metallic color just to give it a bit more oomph but again most of us do that with a lot of our other metallic or shimmer shades if you made it this far into the video thank you for watching i really appreciate it go ahead and give me a like and please 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 subscribe to my channel i really appreciate it and i'm trying to work really hard on growing uh, my followers go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for those of you that are returning viewers or returning subscribers Welcome back. And if you are new, my name is Leila I did film a get to know me video a couple of weeks back So if you're interested in getting to know me more and just kind of how I started and where I started and Why I started this YouTube channel go ahead and check out that video I'm gonna try and leave it in the card somewhere or again in the description box Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.